I guess she emailed me trying to check on how the family was doing and I told her, like, you know, you should. I didn't know she actually wrote her own music, so I totally invited her to come and play for the family. So, so their band is called Lucy and the Perfect Way. Lucy and the Perfect Way. All right, let's give them a round of applause. me back in tonight with my beautiful two friends Nick Gertzen and Michael Tannenbaum. We start a little bit on a mellow note. This song is one of Michael's original tunes. We got all together and we made this song happen and it's actually called Reunion and it's um, for someone that maybe already moved on to the next life someone you just love and lost on the way and you want to maybe reconnect and have a reunion.
note so we are <laughs> so what we have all in common Michael did you have blonde hair when it was not gray <laughs> more brown so we didn't have that in common um, so what we have in common is we are all not from the United States so Nick Gertzen is from Sweden Michael is from Canada and I'm from Germany so what we all have is a green card that little piece of plastic that you get really attached to. I never thought that I could get attached to a piece of plastic that fits in my wallet. about that in the money talks uh, story. I had a dream that I flew around the head of the Statue of Liberty and I said, Lucy, it's about time that you come home. So I followed the dream and I came to the US and thought, this is my home, this is great, I want to be here. But the visa thing didn't uh, work out so well. So I thought, I need a green card. It's as clear as it is. It was not easy to get one. So I thought, maybe if I write a song that's called the green card song, I can actually manifest my green card. I mean, it kind of worked out, so. <laughs> so I recommend this to all the people who want to immigrate to the, to the States. Sure. 
So that's really the good news about the song. So my, my now, my now a proud man, he actually was, I met him, or I knew him already when I wrote the song. And when I played it for him the first time, he was obviously not thinking at all that we're going to end up together. And now it's his favorite song. The next song is called Break the Walls. And this is really something, it's a pr pretty new song. It came recently to me because I have the feeling a lot of times I'm just standing in my own way and they are not really visible walls, so usually the walls are in my mind and I have to kind of break those walls to make changes in my life and that's what the next song is about. Break the walls.
So these are, we have, I think, yeah, this is all original music tonight. And we got, we met one year ago and, and it's like a little bit like a miracle. In one year we probably wrote 23 original songs together, which uh, shows me that this is quite a good uh, combination. Not so much ego stuff involved. We're just really collaborating and that's a lot of fun. Thank you for showing all up and I mean, thank you for this dinner. I'm like still working on it. <laughs> it was so good. And thank, I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm not a vegetarian uh, because that was just heaven, heavenly. It was actually the missing piece of my day. And the next song is called Missing Piece. What a coincidence. Um, Basically, it's kind of like a little word game. It's like about missing peace, but also that you miss a piece of peace in your well-being. So I dedicate that to all of us, missing peace.
Missing piece. Thank you. It has been quite a journey, as you um, know, with, uh, starting out with the homeless situation in Hawaii with $900 cash. And then, thankfully, finding a VW van. I mean, not finding, basically, with my last savings, I bought it and then I lived in a van for like nine months waiting for my green card. And I had no clue that actually uh, living in a car is illegal here in Hawaii, so I, w uh, I needed to buy a fishing pole. So I would drive to the beach, and if I, when I had the fishing pole in the water, I could uh, sleep there when the police comes, it's no problem. And in those moments, I was sometimes wondering, like, okay, I followed this dream. <laughs> did I really do the right thing? And I mean, now standing here with you guys, I really know I did the right thing, but there were other moments in between. And the next song is called Upstream. So that song really comes out of that feeling that sometimes when we want to follow our dream or create a dream, we have to swim upstream for a little while. And it's just something that is part of the, part of the deal. So, upstream.
following the river, following, following the river into the sea. next song we share is Abundance and that was recently something that I also through the musical Money Talks really uh, was triggered by, triggered by a lot so what, what does abundance really mean and uh, then I always have to think of my friend Marsha now when I sing this song because she was telling, uh, talking about all the leaves and the trees and all the, uh, all the birds in the trees and all the grains of sand so we have so much around us already and then even more so in our hearts, so that's what the next song talks about, is the abundance.
what genre our music is so if you have any idea we are between freak folk tender metal rock pop tender metal <laughs> we're just still trying to, to find it um, maybe we have to make up our own so we have um, one cover song for you here tonight and it's uh, one of my favorite songs that's why I would like to share it I hope you're having a great time. I'm really enjoying enjoy your spirit and thank you. I said before to Van Ryan, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting so nervous. It's so different when you do a musical and you're like all dressed up and funny with hats and like, oh. And then right now today it's like, it's almost like soul striptease, you know? It's like all what's going on in my life. Um, I share with you, but since I do that, I actually realize that what goes on in my life goes also on in other people's lives and sometimes even on a different level and where maybe the words can soothe other souls as well. So, awesome. <laughs> Hallelujah, that needed to be said. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's sing it. <laughs>
next song is uh, Disappear, and it's actually telling the story about how we sometimes uh, think about our life so much that we actually forget how to live the life, and that we even have a life, because we're kind of like up in here, and we're constantly like trying to figure things out, and how to make changes, and we forgot this, this guy, or girl, and um, yeah, that's what the next song talks about, and um, in my life, it has always been a lot of about like really trusting my instincts and spreading these wings and kind of fly. And I really realized recently that I must be kind of like a butterfly soul or something because I feel mostly safe the less the, the least insecure uh, the, no the least securities I have. So, for example, when you put me on a plane and you fly me to Africa and you just put me in the middle of Africa, I'm totally fine. But if I have to sign a contract like to rent a car or to rent an apartment or to pay phone bills i'm getting like really panicky so it's kind of funny that um sort of flipped around and maybe we are all like that if we don't know it yet i don't know so i just uh, this next song is a little bit about me trying to be okay with who i am disappear <laughs>
Nick Gertz doing these amazing solos. I'm always like, what's up? Awesome. And this man, he plays always a completely different key, and yet it sounds so. <laughs> Here, like with my little guitar, they couldn't decide do I want to be an ukulele or a guitar? And it's like Martin Trouble. This is a, 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 a short and sweet, quiet tune, and I, I dedicate that to each one of you there because. Um, to us as well. It's called The Light and um, I wrote the song last year when I was on tour in Germany uh, back where my family lives and I, I met like all these amazing people everywhere on the train, on the plane, on the boat, on the street and I would go around and just share the song um, with everybody just, to rem just as a reminder that we have this light inside that's just always there and that's never gonna die and no matter what things are happening around us and that we maybe also create in our lives or that's always there and in moments of chaos it's always good to just remember that and to go back to that place so it's called the light early morning the sun is rising Birds are singing a song about a new world Fairies dancing in the trees They ride around the world on bumblebees And the light is fading in these days And the light is fading in And the light that you carry inside It ain't now Early morning, sun is rising. I'm walking barefoot along the wall of light. And sometimes it's so dark inside that I can't see my hands in front of my beautiful eyes anymore. You know about the light, it's fading in these days. You know the light. And the light that you carry inside It ain't never gonna die And the light that you carry inside It ain't never gonna die 
quick break because these guys are going to play an instrumental tune which is called Michael Klimbim. In German, in German Klimbim actually means clever, but the song sounds really good. Enjoy.
makes me want to play the guitar or not want to play the guitar, you know. All right, thank you. I thought you might enjoy this one. It's like a two-minute little thing. It's a poem I wrote about Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally forgot about it. And then just now, I was like, oh, I should really share this. Uh, it's a conversation. It's a conversation about um, Facebook. And it's two people. It's a guy and a girl. And she really likes Facebook, and he has uh, his own opinion about it. <laughs> She's like, I like you, you like me. How about we become friends on Facebook? <laughs> if I add you, you add me. I tag you, you tag me. How about some dirty pics on Facebook? And I told you to call me. How about intimacy, huh? On Facebook. Welcome to.
next song, I told you guys about the, the next song when I was here last time. So when I, um, I flew to Australia in winter time to uh, shoot a video for this one. And it's called Hard in a Paper Cup. It was inspired by a movie that I watched, it's called Begin Again. And it, well, it came out of this feeling like, but someday I would like to have a song on a movie too. I wrote the song, I, and it's not, it's not a movie, but it's, it has its own video now already, so that's fun. Mm. And it reminds me, obviously, now of miracles, because the Australian trip, as you maybe remember, was really a miracle, because someone came out of the blue and paid for my flight ticket to go there. So, when I think of the song, it reminds me of that it's most of the time <laughs> possible. Someday I'm probably also going to take the most of the time out of the sentence. Um, hard in a paper cut. Love is 
that you took the time, that you fed us, that you welcomed us so beautifully. Um, thank you. Thank you. And a big shout out to Mr. Van Ryan. He, he took care of it, I can tell you. We were in touch, you know, almost every other day and just always checking in if everything is fine. I, I felt so appreciated and really, really invited. So that's, thank you, I'm Ryan. You are great, you are manager. Thank you. Okay, grateful. And obviously tonight we're gonna leave you a CD here, so if you think of us, then you can put it on while you dance, meditate, <laughs> clean. It's probably good music to listen to also on you. I think it's going to be fun. Thank you.
sometimes turned around and it changed and it became always but forever never can thank you, thank you. Adventure. Right now our, our journey is to find a um, weekly home somewhere in Chinatown. Recently we were always playing Bar 35, 11.44 and uh, Downbeat Diner. Last Wednesday we had something, uh, we organized something called the Freak Folk Show where we all got dressed up really funky and we had three bands playing together and from like 9 p.m. to I think 2 a.m. That was a lot of fun. And I really think what I see here so much is this whole thing about teamwork and collaboration and I miss that a lot about the musicians and it's slowly really happening that musicians team up and they create concerts together and share their fans and everything and it makes so much more sense to me than doing your, always your own thing and feel lonely and complain. So waves of emotions, waves of emotions, that they actually come and they go. We all probably know that, right? And they come. And they, they go and you don't even have what was that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>